We are back. Welcome to Green Room Radio. My name is True. I am here with Little Rach. What's up? We got Carlos Hayes hey, in the hola, building. Hola, hola, Looking like a weirdo with his little tie-dye fit on. Hey, it's a cool shirt. You gave it to me, I know. I did give it to you. <laughs> he did. Uh, and we have a very special guest today. Rachel, who's that special guest? Lauren. Hi. Rosas. <laughs> so that is your so that is your Rosa. real last name, Rosas. So my real last name is Muse. Um, Muse. That's yeah. That's but, scary. but my my that's family. Cool. Onyx Muse. <laughs> Muse. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, like, wow. shut up, true. I love that. Yeah. Somehow, is it really Muse? So, Somehow, yeah, every, every that's show. Yeah. that's my real last name. But my mother's side is Rose, is her maiden. Okay. And uh, when I, when I moved to LA, I was like, oh, my name's Lauren Muse. They're like, you're so full of yourself. That's like a. That's <laughs> you're like, like, wait, a, no, that's I'm actually serious. Like a, that's almost like a porn name. I know. Lauren yeah. Muse. Lauren yeah. Muse. So you're a singer, mm-hmm. entrepreneur. You're in so many different avenues. You're also at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Yes. Any other avenues or things that you're getting into? So when you when people say bunny ranch, yeah. do they say I, I hear the term so often, sex worker? Yes, is that what that's considered? Uh, courtesan, I guess courtesan. Um, what is that? That's so, a legal term. Yeah, so a legal it. courtesan. Courtesan. So it's okay. a legal brothel in Ooh. in Nevada, and uh, they have you know some out here, um, but uh, pretty much it's all legal, and uh, it's. Uh, I guess uh, a wild time. Wow, <laughs> I mean, it's a job, right? Yeah. Hey, I that's. Know, I right? mean, that's one thing I haven't done out here. And like I said, I'm really interested. I know they do tours. Mm-hmm. It's funny. My. Uh, I'll give you one when you hey, come. Yeah, my yeah. my aunt yeah. coming too. I got I, a, I'm yeah, coming too. Can, hey, I got a. I got a. All three I got of a us. 70, Let's go. I got a 70 year old aunt. And she's part of this thing called the Red Hat Ladies Club. Wait, what is? What? I've heard of that. Yeah, they they take a tour. They take a tour bus. It's all seventy year old, seventy eighty year old women. Uh huh. And they gave her a, a tour. I think of the chicken ranch. Yeah. So my aunt was so I love amazed. That. She goes, my aunt's like, they had a menu and they they said they could please me. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, can you imagine like a busload of old ladies showing wow. up oh my to take a tour? That is hilarious. Like How gay. many of them actually <laughs> like? They loved. You know, they loved it. it because you know they had different rooms, different themes. Yeah. What about so? Do you moonlight? get women a lot? In uh, so yeah, there's women and men that come through. Um, there are. That. We've had the red hat ladies. Yeah, I'm there sure they. I, I, so they cool. always are doing cool stuff. So. Yeah, they had. Uh, they'll take like a bus or something, and we've had we've had like senior citizens like tour the place and. It's so neat because mm-hmm. they get really excited. And right. They always get a t-shirt. Like and fascinating. It's, it's yeah. like, yeah. It's like when they, when you become older, you just become cool. Like really <laughs> cool. Like, that's so what, cool. I, that's why I'm just like, what the fuck, Mike? I'm I damn excited. ants what, been there, but I've never been there. What's the biggest <laughs> celebrity you've seen there? Ooh, I'm not allowed to tell. <laughs> 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 we aren't allowed. So legally at the, at the ranch, you can't kiss and tell. But, um, right. But um, I'm trying to think of the crazy, one of the craziest stories, like, like, uh, is there? A, put it this way: Is there a lot of celebrities that come through? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And yeah. they come in real discreet. Some people make appointments. Some people do walk in. Um, but usually it's appointment, so that then by the time the girl goes out in the parlor, they're already back there. Yeah. Mm. Some people. Okay, can so get name started. a movie that yeah. the biggest person you've seen starred in. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Yeah, hey, movies? hey! As long as it can't be like Top Gun, right, <laughs> right, right. Then, no, then we'd know. No, yeah, don't say that. <laughs> don't say like Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know if I could say. Uh, let me. I'm trying. So I I don't I can't say anything about the ranch. Um, but I'm. That's just like you. I've true. seen some. Okay, so okay, I will like. say this: at a private party in Las Vegas, mm. like a couple years ago, I used to work with a like a company. Mm. Um. There was somebody that still is a host on television. That's what I'll say. They're still a host on television now. And cool. I've, I've been a, an atmosphere model at their um, friends party. All right, that's Steve that, Harvey, I knew you was a that, freak. I'm just playing. I was, was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say Simon, <laughs> Simon, Simon from American Idol. You're right. Right. It's right. funny that you said Simon because he's his Simon Cowell's birthday is my birthday, October 7th. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so does that. that that make you, is that your Scorpio? Uh, Libra, but very close. Libra. Libra. Yeah. Very close. My mom's Libra. Yeah. My, my daughter is a Libra. Aw. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. So where are you from originally? East County, San Diego. 
Okay. Ooh, West wow. Coast. You actually do oh, have wow. a San Diego vibe too. Yeah. yeah. Those San Diego people seem like so they're fresh, chill, like fresh and vibrant and happy. <laughs> yeah. Like they're, they're really close do, 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 to Mexico, do. so it's, yes. it's so fun there. Yeah. Right. I grew up the in beach. Yeah, it was like right near Hamul, and the border was like literally twenty minutes away. People oh, would wow. just drive to get tacos. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you like you basically grew up in Mexico too. Chiclet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I never even thought of that. So do you speak multiple languages? So a little bit of Spanish. Okay. Poquito. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. shit. Be, I mean, I, I think San Diego right. has good tacos as it is. Yeah. But you can it's still just go, go over the border. Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. to work Even in a city. Authentic. I yeah. worked at City Heights McDonald's for about two years, and you had to learn like at least bare minimum Spanish because yeah. everybody spoke Spanish in the drive through. Mm. And they're like, if you don't learn this, like we're going to have to fire you because mm-hmm. people here right. speak Spanish. They don't. Predominantly. Yeah. yeah. And, and the menu was in Spanish. So I just kind of learned, like, I was like, okay, I'm Like, I, just, right. I was trying. Right. I love it. No, I wish. I, I did uh, actually in. In high school and in college, I did two years of Spanish. Can't can't say one word. Just know a couple little. <laughs> yeah. But, like I know I can I say that. you're a pez, which what? I think a pez is a fish. Right. And what? I, and then I know how to say gorda y fea, so that oh. would be fat and ugly. <laughs> But, of course you would know but these I, things, But I lived in true. L.A. for a long time. You know time. how to say uh-huh. uh, uh, mayate, motherfucker. No, I didn't know that one. What's that? But that means you nigga. Know, oh. Spanky knows because Spanky's traveled the world before. Yeah. You know what I really wish I would have learned because Spanish is really universal everywhere. It is. Even yeah. when you're out of the country like fucking Paris, France. Like, well, I'm half yeah. Spanish. Seriously. I don't have a choice. So. Half Spanish? Yeah, I don't wow. have a choice. Yeah. Do you speak Spanish at all? Uh, To certain people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. I can't even follow it. When some people come up to me, if I'm in LA, they assume uh-huh. that I'm Hispanic. So uh-huh. talk. Oh. Right. You look like a coconut. I'm, I'm wherever. When I'm in Detroit, people think I'm Chaldean. There you go. I'll never forget when I went to Detroit. I was 12 years old, oh, and I, <laughs> right. I watched. It's probably I watched, winter time. Yeah. I watched Eight Mile, and I literally went to the airport, and I was like. Because the lady, you know, at the airport, when you're a kid traveling alone, there has to be somebody with you. I was mm-hmm. like, I need to get How old were you at the time? 12. Hey, so see that age thing? Eight Mile came out in 2002. It did. How old were you? I, well, what year was it when you were, when it was... When you were 12. I heard the commercial on, on TV and my mom wouldn't let me watch it until I was like 13. And But I did get a Detroit like sweater and I told oh, I the lady it. at JetBlue, I was like, oh, I just want a Detroit sweater for Eminem. And she was like so confused. <laughs> I yeah, love it. I'm, I'm sure uh, they get that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't know who that is. And I was yeah. like, Eminem lived here and I walked out. And I was Eminem. Like, I was like, it was such a big. Well, what's uh, what's crazy about 8 Mile, you know, that a lot of people don't know. 8 Mile, does that, it, it, it is a road that suburbs on one side city on the other <clears throat> and it's mainly all strip clubs really? so that's and that's, if you don't have a good license you shouldn't be on a pe- people oh, wow. would hey people would always say you know here here's for the drug people if you're going to sell drugs don't do it on the suburb side you'll be fucked mm-hmm. on the detroit side they'll just beat you up and take your Dang. drugs and send you on your way so yeah. and there's strip yeah. clubs on the eight miles all, all strip clubs down it. all the up and down it so that's kind of the thing with eight miles eight miles basically a hub for strip clubs Whoa. right uh, so that's and kind it's of kind a, of the middle of the city too, in a sense. Mm-hmm. In a sense, in a sense. Yeah. And, and eight miles means they're eight miles from the center of Detroit. Wow. So you'll go seven mile, six mile, all the way until you hit Detroit. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that. Mile. Yeah. Seven miles. Yeah. Hey, remember what's the what's that's the address uh, for? Uh, was it ad- was it? Hang on, it's exit sixty nine. The the Big Beaver Road. Oh, Big Beaver. Damn, or was that sixteen? Sixteen. Wow. That's, uh, like yeah, when that's you go the other mile. way, they go up. Miles, but yeah. si- it's kind of funny. There's a road in. But there's no five mile. It, it, it stops at six. Mi- uh, starts at six miles. Six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. Because there's no five mile. But there was a road called Big Beaver Road. Whoa. That was actually five miles. Right? Was that where the strip no, clubs? No, that's the other way. That's, <laughs> that was the other that's way in way Troy. Right, right, so that right, was right. that was in the suburbs. Mm-hmm. So. So have you been a have you been a dancer before? I have, yeah. Uh, where where any places here in Vegas? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Spearmint Rhino. I worked there, and okay. then um, I worked Cheetahs in San Diego. Okay. If you guys been there? Yeah, and I've been there. Deja Vu. Um, and I I liked dancing because it was just it felt so good at the end of the night. It's like working out for like eight hours. You're of just, course. It felt great. Dude, right. the thing I miss about yeah. Eight Mile that that you don't see here really at the Rhino very much is. Mm-hmm. You know, in Eight Mile, and even I've seen this in California, mm-hmm. the girls are phenomenal pole dancers, and I'm just like, I like the shit to see them do. I was just, that was part of the show, mm-hmm. yeah. and I feel here and here at uh, the Rhino for as many girls that come through there, you're not getting top flight 
pole dance. No, no. exactly. No. Definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. I would yeah. get kind of, I guess, knocked on when I would when I would work at Deja Vu sometimes because it's like I I knew I was clumsy and I knew I would be kind of a like I would fall if I was super pole dancing. So I did everything groundwork. Mm. So I'd be like full nude, like on the ground, and people would be like, "Why do you?" That. I'm like, but people like it. Like, I can't do the other thing, so I might as well do this, and they mm-hmm. get kind of salty about mm-hmm. it. Like, so they because oh, you're not on the pole. Well, because they would think that it. They're like, it sets the expectation that we need to do that, and I was like, no, you don't. I I'm just doing it because you guys are on the pole, right? right. Like, you gotta I, be different. Yeah. Let me have my own thing. Like, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so you had, you had mentioned that you're disabled. Mm. What, what what is what are you disabled with? So I have multiple sclerosis. Uh, and is that why you can't technically go on the pole? Uh, a- yeah, I've got, it's kind of, so about a year and a half ago, I had some head lesions and mm-hmm. uh, it was really weird because I was really disorientated Ooh. and I didn't mm-hmm. know, like I woke up and like forgot how to walk and who I was and I thought I was in Arizona. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I think I should go to the hospital because something seems weird. Uh, went there and they're like, okay, well, did you drive there? Well, no, no. They oh, t- right they now. took me. Uh, so initially, I had Thank woken you. up. It, it was kind of. I think that the lesions had caused like a stroke or a blood clot mm. or something because I had it three days prior. So I was in the hospital for three days, and then I waited another three days after I was out of the hospital, and that's when I was like, I woke up feeling strange. I was swollen, like in mm. certain places. They drove me to the hospital, and then I went and stayed for seven days. Mm. They just give you prednisone. There's no cure, so they they just mm. load you. How with old were you when you found this out? Twenty nine. Oh, okay. So yeah. you so you is it? Did they say it's something you've all, always had, or is it something you just developed? So lupus runs in my family, like mm. autoimmune. So mm-hmm. I think that it kind of mm. falls into that uh, spectrum there, and I think that. Uh, that it, the genetics and then also mm-hmm. I was a party I like to party when it, back <laughs> then oh, wow. who does party girl who, who doesn't? Doesn't? does it I know come it, on let's it, party it, right now it, <laughs> right it, it kind of it kind of probably it pushed it a little further you well, know faster hey, what, what, what mm. was your go to party drug oh I like I was bad okay um <laughs> I don't condone any of this by the yeah. way I don't want to say right um uh, so I'm sober now from from drugs um it, i mean a little weed gummy here and there i like those yeah but um i liked the wake up ones where you yeah. wake up well, and there you go. hey i used to mm-hmm. tell everybody i do any drug that doesn't promote sleeping or eating uh, yeah <laughs> and, so, and so, so basically s- just cocaine and molly yeah that, that, was, that was my jam that and my problem diet. was the shit i had a problem where i would get like kind of I guess cocky in a sense where I was like, oh, I've done this for like several years. I would like mix things together Mm -hmm. and I'd be like, oh, well, I had this this morning. I can't have any more of that. So I'm going to have this and then I'm going to have this for for night. So I'm awake and then. Damn, all you, you'd have been my girlfriend back then. I'd have been like, yeah, this bitch <laughs> yeah. just mixes everything. You're like, I, I love, love this. It, and, and I would <laughs> like, it's basically 2C now. You know, 2C, they wow. say. Oh, yeah, I've heard basically. it. So somebody yeah. in my old, uh, like, okay, so I lived with these roommates in this one house, and I remember they would throw parties. I woke up one night. Someone was uh, sitting in my bed. Like just, wow. just in a cave. They look like this guy. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting there, and then they eyes <laughs> wide. I woke up and I was like, "Who are you?" And they're like, "Want to do a K hole with me?" And I'm like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> a, hey, that's a crazy question. You want to do a K hole? Because anybody who's been in a hole like myself once. I don't ever want to go That's back like to that. That's like doing hole. enough, dude. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, "No, can you leave my room?" <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "Hey, at least no. they, hey, they <laughs> hold." Hey, yeah. Shout out to that guy, though. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. He offered. Yeah, he, he tried a lot. He, that sounds like a lot. Yeah, yeah. he, he hole. tried. Like, hey, oh. Yeah, that sounds like oh a lot. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, but I mean, at least he picked a pretty girl. Like, <laughs> I would be shocked if I woke up and he's like, "You want to go in a K hole with me?" I'd be like, "Yeah." It was funny. It was like wrong choice, buddy. Right. Yeah, but no, I hear this new stuff out this 2c stuff i hear there you know before i heard it was just like a cocaine and molly mixture now I'm i thought hearing, it was like ketamine and well molly they're saying now they're something. mixing ketamine acid they're mixing acid. everything together. everything what? in it and i'm like that's crazy i don't even yeah. know about the, why, why yeah. is it pink? i kind of outgrew did, my little pink? drug yeah, i remember when pink? i was like a raver they would get you know they would give you these pills and they'd be just be like here you go what's in it i don't know like, right and just give yeah. it to you right. and 
that was like, it's like back the in, candy. That's your can- like everyone was giving out candy. Yeah, yeah. 2010, like yeah. the rave. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah. And you just trusted yeah, them. You, you just yeah. You just trusted them because they're fellow ravers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you just go plur with the plur, plur. with the, with the yes. bracelets. Yeah. Yeah. Plur. Yeah. I mean, I haven't heard that word in so long. Plur. Yeah. Oh my now I'm goodness. old and have an Apple watch that doesn't even work right now. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's crazy. You said that because I got one. I'm not wearing it right now, but I got one. Wait, where's your Apple Watch? I'm trying either. to look, look professional now. Yeah, it still <laughs> looks, It just doesn't. It's not on. It people ask me all the time what time is it. Like, my battery died. Battery died. I know my too. <laughs> my, yeah, my battery died. Too. I know. Oh my God, we're at Sia. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, it's got is. a little it juice is. in it. Oh, it is on. Oh yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. I just I don't, don't have use one. mine. I'm married. I can't. You know, <laughs> this is not a, a good thing if you. Yeah. So can can you have? Is it in the? Is it in your? In your? Well, first of all. What what age range are you in? We'll say age range. Are you under thirty or above thirty? Oh, I'm thirty one. Yeah. Thirty one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Same age as my wife. Now, oh, yeah. do you? Uh, I mean, is kids something you want in your future? Can you have that with mm-hmm. what you have going on? I wouldn't. Me personally, I mean, there's probably there's definitely people with a mess who have children. Mm. It's just for me and the situation I'm in. I I don't. I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, like I can't get out of bed and have mm. two kids that are like, mom, we need to go to school. And I'm like, right. I can't even lift Aww. my legs up and get out. And like, like, does I, and it get that bad sometimes? Yeah. Aww. Sometimes it just, you get really tired mm. and you just want to sleep. And I feel mm. like if I took on that responsibility, knowing that that mm. was something that I was dealing with, it would be irresponsible of me. Yeah. To so, do, to so are you the saying? Best, go ahead. Go ahead. No, mm. you go ahead. I was going to say, what's the best medicine to take? What's like your Stero- go-to? They give you prednisone, um, but I I've tried. I've heard of that before. Yeah. yeah. They give I heard of that? Yeah, they do prednisone, and then like they I've done that before. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like I yeah. know that I know that word, yeah, that drug. I know it with you. Mm-hmm. Maybe Michael mm-hmm. Jackson did it. Who knows? Was, Pred- uh, Somebody did prednisone. I've heard oh it. My God. Unless you told me that. Maybe you told me that on the message. But. Send help. Yeah, they do. They do pre. So prednisone, but I try to do the anti-inflammatory diet. I'm really trying to eliminate tomatoes and Ooh. like because mm. uh, of acidity. Yeah, and I guess like I guess strawberries too. I guess like Tom I Brady. I love strawberries. He just never Jesus. had a strawberry. Shout out to fucking Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah. Tom Brady, Michigan, baby. My friend Stacy. My friend Stacy at the ranch told me that she's like Tom Brady's never had a strawberry. I'm like. <gasps> Oh my God! You almost scared me because you're like my. Fr- I thought you, she was gonna say my friend Tom Brady came in there. I was gonna be like, <laughs> whoa! Be like, I'm like, fuck yeah! Shout out Ratings. to Giselle. Yeah, shout out to Giselle. Oh, right. wow. He said, "Fuck that bitch! I'm going to the moonlight." Exactly. Moonlight. Yeah, Tom Brady. Fun fact: He owns the girl women's basketball team, the Aces, out here, which have won the championship two years in a row. Right. And then I heard he's half. I don't know if he's half or part owner of the Raiders. What? Yeah, so I'm like, he's yeah. got to have a house out here somewhere. He owns that, the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, he's part owner. Yep. So that's pretty. That's Vegas pretty cool. Moving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Vegas uh, is gonna be dope. I've met a lot of celebrities years. in my life, and I mean, I would definitely fucking run up on Tom Brady because I mean, I always thought he was from Michigan because he's right. his, his spirit is very Isn't East Coast. He? Well, he went to school. No, there, he's from so. California. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, he's, like from yeah. he's from the Bay. He's from the Bay, San Francisco. Mm. I was telling people, I'm like, yo, Tom Brady's a Michigan guy. He's but got San Francisco that, and, mm. and Michigan is a lot alike. Like oh, okay. Upper California and Michigan is a lot alike. Mm. Yeah, really a lot alike. So, uh, okay. So outside of that, what about uh, what? How's your dating life? <sighs> I'm single and uh, I you know I think it's on a pause right now because I think that with the music and with uh, just learning how to handle the you know the illness uh, sometimes I would be really really tired for like a week or two and it would just I feel like I can't give all myself to a relationship but I think that over time it's gotten easier mm. um, but how do guys feel about so when you tell them basically you're a sex worker how do they yeah that's I've, an interesting I've, question I've dated mm-hmm. sex workers and you know the, th- the, th- the thing for me like mm-hmm. they're very upfront and honest mm-hmm. so like to me if, if you say that and that's what you do and I'm okay with that mm-hmm. that's cool but you know you do get to a point sometimes where they're like well it, it's just work yeah. But then I'm like, but that work is still affecting because they go on that work and then they might, you know, they they might not, you know, they kind of, hey, I was just with a client, mm-hmm. you know, give me a couple of days to decompress or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's what I would get. And so I was just like, man, that must be very difficult because mm-hmm. I know I think guys will say they are OK with it, but then they're really not. That's happened before. Yeah. I, I remember I a imagine. guy even at the strip club when I was yeah. like, I'm a dancer. And literally we 
I invited him for a drink. He was like in my neighborhood. I invited him for a drink to kind of kind of like vent a little bit because my girlfriends like found out I was a dancer, didn't want to be friends with me anymore. Mm. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. And, and then I was kind of bonding with him at the bar and mm-hmm. he was like, oh, don't worry. Like, I'm your friend. Sure enough, three weeks later, he was like, you whore. And I'm like, right, what? Oh, my right. gosh. Oh yeah, my no, I, I oh hear that God. a lot with, with dancers. You, you know, change their mind. They'll, they'll say, oh, I want you to stop dancing. Like, you met me at a strip club. Yeah. Like, uh, what, right. what the fuck? So, what I, I, expect. Yeah. so I, uh, I get that about it. But I just know it's hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and especially, I mean, you're even you're even a step further. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so. I, I think that if I did get in a relationship, the time would you know, probably be in the future, like further into the future. Mm -hmm. Um, It just right now, I really, uh, the issue, the biggest issue is, is I like to text and call uh, my clients and Mm -hmm. I'll call the, I'll, I'll literally blink and the day will be over. And I've talked to like four people just to know what, how their day is going and Mm -hmm. how everything. And so if a boyfriend was like, oh my gosh, you haven't called me today. I'm like, well, I've been, you know, talking and you've been working business. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, who's texting at 12 and, and, and that's where the difficulty could probably come in. If they're not understanding. Yeah. And if everyone, if there's not enough of you to go around, then it's, yeah, it's deplete. You know, it's like, cause if they want you at that moment in time, that was a great way to say that. How long have you been, when did you make the transition from strip stripper? I don't want to say stripper dancer to courtesan. 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 I yeah, I got new it. word for me today. Yeah, courtesan. courtesan. I like that word. Yeah, yeah. courtesan. I uh, so I was a dancer. I began when I was twenty one, and um, then when I made the transition, I was about. I want to say I was twenty four or twenty five, somewhere mm. around there, mm. and I did it because I was getting tired of the. The dancing because I got tired of meeting people for twenty minutes and never seeing them again. Exactly, you like the like, connection. Yeah, I didn't mm-hmm. like that. I was like, okay, I'll get a dance for like twenty minutes, and all right, well, okay, bye, bye. I've <laughs> had like a hundred people tonight, but you know, mm-hmm. but with some people from the strip club I'm still friends with. Mm. Um, it's just I wanted more long term like friendship relationships types. Yeah, I heard on one of your uh, videos. I heard. You, you you had a good word for that. You called it an experience. Yeah, like the, the girlfriend experience. The experience. Well, just like going to like the ranch or whatever. It's an experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. It is. Yeah. Sure. I think that I like to make it like I buy things for the experiences, like my own things. I really like. I like it to be like a relaxing time mm-hmm. and and something intimate for them there's also i'm going to school for tantra right now and uh i'm training to be a tantra practitioner Uh, can you explain real quick what that is yeah yes so tantra i was really inspired by my friend her name was sal mizadora and she was a tantric like yogi Mm. and i met her on playboy tv she ended up passing away i would say a couple years ago Mm. but i work now with her son gabe and pretty much um i get these tantric videos and tantra is kind of weaving into another person and and really having that soul connection experience Mm. through sex and you know sometimes i've had it for hours um and that's it's just real neat um there's still more for me to learn like there's lingam and yoni massages that i've done Mm. but there's more and that's where it is like these retreats um they're they're not cheap and and it's like i save up you go to these retreats you learn from these uh like shaman uh, or tantric mm-hmm. yogis. And I like to take that and bring it that holistic energy into the ranch so mm. that if someone really isn't looking, you know, for for more like a party time, they can have it's like that. a healing. Ooh. Yeah, and yeah. It's, okay. it's pretty neat. So Dude. you're a healer. Mm. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, healing comes Here, in many ways. Yeah. Here's a question. I think it's not yeah. limited. No, you, I swear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do you have? Uh, do you have? So when you're when you're at a ranch and somebody either picks you out of a lineup or you said you can make an appointment, mm-hmm. do you have a choice whether you want to be with them or not? Absolutely. Because Ooh. what I have, mm. have you had any nightmares like you know just like I said somebody coming in there maybe their hygiene isn't good maybe or they're, they're on drugs. Drugs. Mm. I, I bet you get that a lot. I, I have. I can see that a ugh. lot. I will say this because yeah. I did not have an encounter with this person, but X amount of time ago, there was a guy, and he was wasted, and he he had scared one of the girls, and then he was like, "Oh, oh well, gosh. she was in the lineup. I want to talk to her." And they were calling in my room, and they're like, 
he wants to talk to you. I'm like, I don't want to talk to him. He is Ooh. wait. His he had a cup of vodka oh, he brought God. in, and like just You're allowed to do vodka. that. No, uh, just that was so random. Yeah, and right. he came uh-huh. in at three. They had to get like escort him out, and he was screaming. He's like, Well, no, I don't want to see anyone anyways. Like you guys, oh, I had eight thousand dollars. I was like, I don't care how much you had. You you're crazy. Like yeah, like do you get that a lot. I mean, uh-huh. what what would you say? So, so here would be a good one. What would you say the the majority of your clients? Would you say they're over thirty? Um, do you get a b- bunch under thirty? It's a mix. Like, it, a, I would say I I do attract over thirty because I think that like I'm like a '90s baby, so I think that oh. the '90s and up. But but there are some younger uh, that I do kind of attract. <laughs> Have you, what, what's the oldest guy you've attracted? Oh well, actually, <laughs> how did that experience? That go? wasn't at the ranch, but I yeah. actually <laughs> met Marilyn Manson's father at a concert in Las wow. Vegas. What? Oh. That was shout that out was, to Marilyn. <laughs> yeah. I remember that concert, and I didn't know it was Marilyn Manson's dad, and. I mean, he was cool. Like, he yeah, was wait a, a minute, did I hear uh, um, this? This could be totally off the yeah. wall, but did I hear his dad is a pre- pastor? Uh, he he. Wo- I I thought I he wanna was. I want to say I thought I heard he was a pastor, but he passed away. I think a couple years ago, but mm. I think that he was some sort of a. Re- they were pretty he, religious. No, he. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm gonna say because I can say this because I know mm-hmm. he doesn't care, but me yeah. and me and Marilyn Manson did some drugs in uh, uh, Russia together. And oh, shoot. thought we were never going to make it in Russia of all places. Oh, Why were you shoot. in Russia with Marilyn Manson? He was on tour with us. Wow. And, oh, shit. Uh, we, he okay. went with Eminem and saying, yeah, I've I seen. I am. Yeah. I am, yeah. MTV, uh, I watched that. You know when oh, they say geez. when Eminem's like, yo, when you blame it on Marilyn, and then Marilyn would come down the props and he'd go out there he was actually, by the way, he was horrible at singing I Am. <laughs> when you listen to him on video, Marilyn Manson was not good at singing that. But I could only imagine. But yes, but that was my experience with Marilyn. But you know something crazy about Marilyn? And mm. this this is something I wouldn't know because I didn't yeah. have this. But a lot of girls, a lot of dancers in L.A. said that that guy like really fucked them up. Like, really? Like they, he's dated a lot of porn stars and strippers. Really? And they just said like the stuff he's. I think he dated Rose Mc, McGowan. Too. Rose McGowan, yeah, the yeah. actress. And mm-hmm. I and they said like he fucked them up, like mm. like Dang. on some like devil worshiping, yeah. like Ooh. crazy, I can like. See that. Like, yeah, like a, a, a girl that was on our show, she had said that. She's like, she man, he, he, no, she didn't date him, but she said some of my friends did, and they are fucked up still Whoa. from whatever. I so. put like a curse. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, well, I don't, uh, I don't. Let's to not tell you the, bring that energy yeah. over here. Uh, 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 We've got the uh, candles going. Yeah, we got the, we got the candles. <laughs> how, old was, how old was his dad, do you think? I think he was like 80 something wow. at that time. But I, I was stoked because it was like, I'm, I was just a young girl i was 21 and oh. i was i was so excited and and, and i <laughs> he told me he was marilyn manson's dad but i could see that he didn't knew that i didn't think i believe like i didn't he knew that he, i didn't believe him right. so because i was like okay anybody could say this i'm in vegas right now like right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and he ended up calling the security over he's like hey like get her a shot and i'm like and they're like yeah sure oh we see you met manson's dad i'm like Cool. You're okay. like this yeah. is real. Yeah. So I yeah. just took some shots and it was cool and yeah, yeah I, I shared I a moment. <laughs> and, yeah, then, and then I never saw him again after that. Yeah, we actually had a uh, Snoop Dogg's dad. Shout out to him. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Snoop. And that was that was cool. Wow. Uh, but you meet a lot of people in Vegas. But you do definitely yeah, need right? to you definitely need to yeah. fact check these people. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure his dad was a pastor, which is nuts. Yeah, he was pretty chill too. Like we just we took some shots, and then all of a sudden, like after like 20 minutes, we kind of like disappeared. And and then I like obviously I was really drunk at that time, and I was like, <laughs> oh no, like where is everyone? <laughs> yeah, that happens to me all the time. So I have a question. So mm-hmm. okay, you're also on music as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you ever like? integrate like music and the life that you have at the bunny ranch together i and like so like what do you do it's not the bunny ranch right it's the moonlight ranch um uh what? it's the moon- moonlight bunny ranch yeah moonlight okay. bunny moonlight ranch, ranch. Okay. okay yeah all right yeah. Cool. Uh, so i i actually love the music world because i've done sex work for so long and it's not like i'm like a, like ashamed of it which one's longer uh oh a uh, sex work done longer than, okay. than music okay yeah. but i feel like with music, I want that to be a separate world. I want to not. You you have to be. I I tell people there's yeah. a there's a lot of girls that I meet, 
and they will send music over. Yeah. And then I look at their page and it's all modeling pictures. It is. And I'm like, what are you doing? Th- like, separate your fucking pages. Like, no. nobody's ever going to. You're right. And that's where right now, mm-hmm. like, somebody commented, they're like, you're in your whole phase. And I'm like, yeah, I'm waiting to get a couple <laughs> good photo shoots. You're in your whole phase. I, I said, I just need a, it When they see the new photo shoots and the new image that, like, I'm working on right now, because it's it's. The Lauren Rose's music, she's a character. It's it's one of those character people. It's not like a real person. Right. It's a character mm. that I'm playing. So the whole account's going to get stripped, and then they're going to see the character. But it's just, I got to get the photo shoots first, do the film, one of the music videos. I got the dress today, though. So, what, what, yeah. what would you say your style is for music? I definitely do like rock and roll. I love, I'm a minimal, well, I would cool. say I'm a semi-minimalist. Ooh. What yeah. what is it? What would you compare yourself to a group when you say rock and roll? Ooh, I like. I mean, like I know there's a Guns and Roses era. There's a Corn era. Is that like, why your name on Instagram is Guns and Roses? I love Guns and Roses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, that, that was my they era. Were dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah dope. it's classic rock for Definitely life. Dope, yeah. I love them. Sure. Um, they. Uh, so I would say, I guess if I was in, I'm looking at females. Like mm-hmm. a lot of people say that I remind them of. Oh, my What's her name? She's from the seventies. Um, Alanis oh. Morissette. Alanis they, Morissette. They yeah. say She's her dope. her voice or something, but I'm like, oh, I I wish. But uh, I you know. want you to know <laughs> somebody like that. But I love the flyleaf girl. That? Yeah. I oh, love, yeah. Okay. I love the flyleaf girl in like the all around me. Like I love her vibe in that mm-hmm. video. Like I love that like rocker chick. Like Courtney Love. Like I love oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you mm-hmm. look like, like Taylor Courtney. Swift though. So oh, I do. The... Oh, I gotta get. I gotta. I gotta yeah, get really gorgeous. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how long have you been working on music for? Mm, I've been working on music for seven years so far. You, you play any instruments? Piano. Um, I would say I'm about a 75% though. Not as good as you. Okay. Yeah. I'd say it was 75%. So I pretty much. Are you self-taught or did you actually? I'm self-taught, but I do That's remember okay. we had a pastor's daughter that would teach me, you know, when she could in Ooh. the church growing up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And we I learned. Did you learn on piano or keyboard? Uh, piano. The piano. the or the piano at the church yeah. that oh, okay. they had. Wow. Yeah. So the real yeah. deal. Yeah. Real deal. Yeah. Cool. I love the sound of those. I like. I think like We Three Kings was like my first song that I learned. I was like so proud. <laughs> yeah. I saw. We. I saw on your page. You. It it's looked crazy. like you went. You went to a couple. What is it like? Little festival style. Yeah. I saw that. Mm-hmm. The. Uh, so yeah. So they're. The, it's funny because a lot of the people that do listen to my music are children and and that's i didn't expect right. that i didn't right. i didn't go in to be like yeah i'm sure i'm gonna it, you're making that genre for those type of yeah. people but it just ended up like that it ended wow. up like little hmm. toddlers like the Whoa. song and that's where it was a struggle where the, you know the moms were like i mean they were there and they added me and stuff they're like oh what's your instagram and this not so i'm like deleting like all of the you know the, the adult riskier stuff. stuff yeah hey were you were you ever like these might be future clients one day the 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 women no no, no the, oh, the, uh, the children as no a, uh, my gosh <laughs> stop oh. he was like how old are you sonny yeah you're like no. you're, you're 13 so seven years no. from now i'll still oh. be in the game no no no, no. Uh, but, no. <laughs> but 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 I, cannot. I noticed that and i was like what do i do like because my manager was looking at like my spotify statistics He's like there's like a lot of kids like that are listening and i said mm. i don't know what to do because it's not like i could stop sex work because that's what's funding this but they like it so like i mean unless somebody funded me then i could be like okay i'll transition and make the music i would love though do music you primarily. know what though you have a you have a look though that i could tell could you you could appeal to that younger crowd they you could they could push you into like the the more you know yeah, you what look I, like yeah, a lot of disney style thank you i what i've discovered <laughs> is even with um adult entertainer i think that yeah you're right like it has to there has to be, but then I've seen like even like Cardi B, like there's three year olds like dancing to Cardi B oh, music, yeah. yes. like, and you know, it's <laughs> you're like sure. that's my kid, right? Yeah, because <laughs> they listen to what the parents listen to, I exactly. guess. And no, they do. Um, I, it used to freak me out. I'd be playing music and I, I'd look up, and my son's 18 now, but I'd look in the mirror and I'd see him in the back, and he'd just be like nodding his head to the beat at like three, four years old, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Like they're like, well, he was like and, emulating what I was doing. And when I, and it's funny because like when I go to these like events where they're like, there was two events I went to and there were kids there and there was girls that were like five years old that were just like, <gasps> like staring, like, right. you know, and, and I, I think but that's I, your look though, your energy could, oh, could attract. 
I try I to be really that. conservative because I, I do respect the parents that go to those events. And yeah. I know that they're not there for a promiscuous time with, you know, they're, they're there to, it, it's their day. So I'm just right. a part of their mm-hmm. simulation. Of course. And mm-hmm. I'm just the singer that's there. And I really adopted that. That's why I like minimalism and everything. So I like to be like in the background and just a part of their simulation. I hope one day I could have my own like event where families could come in, um, whether it's, you know, paid or whether it's like just for like a charity thing. Yeah. And I love just lights and cool, like non flashing because I, I have seizures, so I don't want. Yeah. yeah, I don't want anything flashing. So kids Ooh. with like disabilities and like so light. So you said you have seizures. Yeah. So if the lights flash, <laughs> I, I get me. like uh, sure. seizures, so I have to take my medication. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We had a guy pretty recently. Remember Massini and I? I just yeah. Inter- thing. Mm-hmm. He was wearing sunglasses. He's been touring so long. Yeah. But he said that the actual lasers from these festivals burnt his eyes out. They can't That's see. why he was wearing. Yes. You would never think that. Of right. All the raves that everybody's been to. They can. Yeah. yeah. What's the largest amount of people that you performed in front of? Ooh, I would say one of the shows that I did was at a bar and it was actually right after this, the whole health issue. Um, COVID? Uh, it well uh, right or after the health the, like, issue yeah the yeah, MS, okay, MS. Okay. Yeah. and it was my first show and I had about like sixty people there and I was, the bar was packed but it, th- I knew that, that they were energy coming, yeah they were coming for other people too but it was neat because my friends were there cool. and it was just so intimate it was cool and I just felt like oh like that yeah. chapter's over like, do you sing any covers or do you I do yeah okay I, I always tell people especially starting out in music it's okay to do that it is because if you don't. You know, singing your own, like I said, no matter how dope you think your own songs are, mm-hmm. you will lose the crowd. So I'm always like, play a couple covers, slide in an original, go back to covers, because people want to, you know. They do. Yeah. And that's okay familiar. to do that. They gotta be mm-hmm. familiar. They gotta I, be familiar. I did a cover of Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, Ooh. and uh, I'm gonna release it really soon. Uh, it's just, uh, there was one word that I need edited out of there, and it's taken a year. Oh to, get God, out, uh, get, to get it out, to get it out. David, what? you think you could take Dave, that out can, for her? Yeah, could yeah, you I take out that out. one word? Okay, awesome. <laughs> thank you. I, I, that's that's what I've been saying. Oh my like, gosh, yes. He, the word he has might to be able, he might be able to do that in probably one one minute. Yeah, what? Five oh my minutes, gosh, five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Well, thank you. I, you there would you save that whole. Right. I would be able to do that then. Oh my goodness. How many music videos do you have out already? What word is it? Um. Well, so I. I don't so it's a yeah like just the word yeah but I had said yeah too many times and I don't want it to be annoying because I'm like a perfectionist a little bit and so if it annoys me it's going to annoy somebody else and so I'm like I could just get it removed and (laughs) David yeah yeah no that's I'm sorry Rach I know how dare you Mm -hmm. I'm sorry what did you say what did you how many music video yeah yeah how many music videos do you have out right now so I have let it go I have next ride next drive is a little more I it was a great storyline. and Hey, I'll that's kind of crazy coming from a sex worker. Next ride. Next ride. So it was about a hitchhiker. So, <laughs> yeah. Just, okay. About that. It got a little oh, aggressive I mean, in there. Because <laughs> it was like, a, you know, when you have a story in your life that you want to tell it and get the it passion. out. And, and to recover, like, from that story in your life. So I had a, you know, event that happened in the past with a guy that got a little, you know, out of hand. And, mm. and I wanted to recover from that emotionally. So I invested so much money into this next ride music video and my my team was like don't do what you know don't make this too graphic and I I went just a little bit overboard and sure enough they were right it got demonetized so I can't uh, so it's like I did it for YouTube my own YouTube is so finicky like that yeah it really is I did it for my own healing but at the same time I was like I'm not gonna do that again because it's not worth you want to make money too you want to exactly. like and get out there to people yeah. and see them. make it make sense yeah because right? you can't promote even getting in front of eyes like I can't pay to promote a video if I'm getting like punched like you know even if it was a real story even if like you know I just can't do that and I realized that mm. like there's a difference between making art for you know your own emotional release mm-hmm. and making art to get across to a bunch of people of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. yeah so yeah. so i learned my lesson with that one how how was your family life growing up it was so my dad was in the military most of our life my, they were divorced my my mom and my mm-hmm. dad um my mom was single mom you know she she had her moments with money it was it was a little uh you hey, know. mom! Mom's the hardest job in the world. Mm. Yeah. I know that. Yes, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, I feel like uh, there was this thing I was listening to, and they said like, as kids, we we put so much pressure on adults to be perfect, and 
But then we realize that we're the adults now that we're not. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. We're not that perfect. Yeah. Especially like how they were doing their best. Yeah. And it's like, how Mm -hmm. is an adult, like if we're stressed out and like don't have money or something, like how is a mom who's like doing this? Like, like, I don't know if in the, in, in the ranch type of situations, you know, I Mm -hmm. always ask with porn stars. We, we just had a porn star. Shout out to Spencer. Mm -hmm. Eric. Uh, but Damon I just Dice. I just said like Damon Dice and mm-hmm. I, I just said like it seems like all of them that I met come from really bad family lives female wise you know right. Spencer, Spencer didn't but I'm like do you get that a lot with the girls at the ranch I mean I feel like with myself I because I don't know too much about everybody's like past a lot yeah. some people like I literally only know their ranch name. And I don't know. Because they don't disclose any other yeah. information. Some girls are real private about it. More mm-hmm. than a dance club, they're more private. Mm. For me, I noticed, you know, growing up, my mom with the money, she was mostly working and kind of on her. She was tired, so she was on her own wave. And then my dad was in the military. So he was at Fort Lewis in Washington. And after September 11th, he was deployed for like seven years. Wow. Um, mm. Yeah. So he was gone. Like the majority of our childhood. Deployed so, where? Out of the country? Uh, he went to Holy Germany. Shit. So he was, he did the military before I was born too. So he did like Germany. Um, mm. But he did go, he was going to go to Afghanistan, but then he uh, got disabled because he blew his back out in, in You used to have a relationship with, with both. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Mm. Uh, yes, I have yeah. a little, I have half brother, uh, older one, and then I have uh, two younger half brothers and a little sister and then another half sister. Yeah, now, so do you look, like, hey, do you look at them as their, fi- as their full brother and sister or? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I have a, I have an 18 year old son and I have a four year old daughter mm-hmm. and I had a half brother growing up yeah. and when we're together, I, there's no feeling like he's my half brother, but yeah. that's just a parent parental thing. Mm-hmm. But I try so hard to always tell my son like, yo, this is your real sister. Exactly. Like, right. well, this ain't no half sister. Like I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that either. Yeah. The, 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 just the term doesn't. Cause like I said, my half brother, Yeah. we don't, we don't feel, you know, we don't vibe like that exactly yeah Yeah, it's the parents you know if the mom doesn't want the kid to vibe with you like that you're not going to have that but yeah me and my little brothers they just they're they're so helpful they want to be roadies like they anthony and carlos they were putting my couch together they're like we want to be roadies like Like, anthony and carlos yeah rojas rojas Rojas, there it is i love it so uh what i mean what else can you tell us about uh you know, experiences at, at the at, at the ranch. So, um, have you worked at any of the other ones, or just just? N- no, just Moonlight. Um, so, would I you reg- consider that is it like B1? an exclusive one, like it's exclusive contract that you guys have? Yes. So it has to be. They're they're pretty much about loyalty. So you got to stay at like one of the ranches. There are some ladies that have come from other ranches, but Ooh. they don't. At Moonlight, they they don't like you to leave and go to another one and then be like, oh, I dip my toes in there. I'm coming back now. Like it, you mm. just kind of stay there. Right. Yeah. So there's like a there's probably like a house mom. Would you call there it? is? Yeah. There's a uh, Madam Suzette. Um, Dennis. Uh, he passed away. I never got to meet Dennis, but mm. I'm Dennis. Sure. What was his last name? Dennis Hoff. 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 Mm-hmm. Hoff yeah. <laughs> What about Heidi Fleiss? Is she in the mix anywhere? Uh, still? She what happened was to her? on the wall, a picture. Yeah. I guess Shout she out to Heidi. I'd like to have her on the show she, if she's out there. She, I watched a documentary on her. Yeah. She, that was like an interesting situation. Then she wouldn't give up the black book or something. And now she's, I don't know what she's doing now, but she was. She uh, was going to start a male one. Really? Yeah, there was a thing where she was. Wait. So Heidi Fleiss was with Hoff. Why don't they have that? I'm going yeah, to the go? male brothel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe no, was, I know. Maybe just one time to start experience. I, heard, I heard. She did get a job. I'm curious. Yeah, for a while. Yeah. I'll wait in the car for it. Heidi. Thank you. See, that's a real friend right there. Heidi was working with Hoff. I thought I heard she owned, uh, uh-huh. uh, I thought I heard she owned She's like dry sh- cleaners or some shit like that too. But yeah. Heidi Fleiss was a madam out yeah. of, out of LA. Number one madam in the world. Number so one. She's still number one. What's a madam and a what like, court of song? Like, like a meaning difference? just like, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just making up names. These aren't necessarily yeah. names, but like somebody who would have like Charlie Sheen, Tom Cruise. Oh, like, like she would had top the, clients. The top right. of the top. And she wouldn't give away the black book. And that's why she had gotten oh, the black book as well. Their client. And she yes. didn't want to do that. Oh. To but she hooked, that costs she, money to get, <laughs> to get rid of that. Yeah, that's she, loyalty. She she linked with Hoff, who owned all these brothels, mm. but she, I know she was her wow. plan was to start a male ones and then something. I just don't think they gave her the license. I think they kind of like 
it's hard to get them. Sidestepped wow. her because of her past. Yeah, and it's the court stuff. It's difficult to get them, I guess. Like you got to mm. be like grandfathered in or something. Like you, yep. you have to, especially here in this fucking. Oh yeah, this city. Yeah, everything oh, yeah. is who you know. There's a certain amount of fees too per year, like hundreds of thousands to like keep it, um, like the codes and yeah. everything. That do you guys? Uh, mm. how, how's the competition there? I mean, do you guys compete with each other? Do you see that? I don't. I think that when I first started there, there was a lot of that happening. Like it felt like that, like kind of the cat house vibe. But now it seems like everyone's kind of more relaxed it seemed like mm. after quarantine the energy really changed definitely and now it's more everybody's kind of got their own personality they're on their own wave and it's better it's it's just more everybody's together mm. we just had a little christmas party was it that was open great. during the quarantine uh no no not oh, okay but after the quarantine what, what did you do during that time Ooh, i did massage therapy so you said, you said, you said, fucking, I'm a massage, massage therapist. I'm a massage therapist. Well, wait, I, okay. I do like massage therapy, though. I really do. Did you, was it a, cool. did you specialize in the rub and tug or was it normal? Full body massage. Full, there it is. It's full body. Hey, we don't AKA know what you, we don't Drew know needs one. Yeah. Hey, I do need a one. I'm need pretty one. good. I, I need one, too. I'm pretty good. Okay. I did full body and full foot massages. Same. Like, I would have, like, <laughs> clients that would just, I would just get referrals. And I'm like, heck, yes. Like, Aww. I needed money. Like, and. It was great. I was like, I'm really good at this. Like, that's where I kind of got like into the, the energy whole... exchange, too. Yeah. I felt like I was like they when I was done, like because I, I did full body massages for usually like an hour and a half um, there. And I just felt when I was done, there was such a sense of accomplishment. Like, I was like, wow, I, I really did a good job. Like, no, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's uh, that's yeah. great that you thought of something to do like that. I mean, that's yeah. especially and only you fans. Have, you have yeah. clients. Yeah. yeah, you have. Are, are you on OnlyFans currently? So no, but I'm thinking about bringing it back only for lunch dates and dinner dates. Okay. Facetime. Do yeah. they? Uh, oh. does, do, yeah. Does the ranch get any part of that? No. If, no. no not okay. the only cool. fan. But they they uh, I thought about doing Facetimes only, so it would be more per month, but it's. They're going to be doing like a half an hour FaceTime where we're eating dinner together and then there's like a show time afterwards. Okay. So it's a longer, more intimate thing because then once again, I think I'm kind of going back to what I know in a sense where, oh, I don't like the whole two minute make a video thing and give it to 20. Like, I'm yeah. just not fall. I haven't fallen in love with that anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Why? Because it takes longer? I just feel like it's not like authentic. I feel like it worked for a time for me. Like I was really into it, but now I'm just like, I would rather eat lunch with somebody and spend 30 minutes on the phone then then send a video for two dollars or five dollars however right. much right and right. and i've done it before um do you ever do sex panther what's oh wait the texting that app. was the texting app mm -hmm. but i've heard of that to like open a picture it'd be like two bucks no, I've never done it, but I did hear about that. Yeah, I did I my free cams. I've never heard of that. Yeah, my free cams is I huge. Got, I got banned. <laughs> I've never some, heard of that. Some girl banned me from uh, what's the other one? Uh, Chatterbait. Chatterbait. What? They were like, I was twenty six years old, and like these girls, I guess, reported to me, and they're like, she's underage. And I'm like, because oh, they thought you look so young. Yeah, I was like, I showed them, <laughs> my, I sent them my ID, and they're like, sorry, you're still banned. I'm like, what? I'm not. I'm literally twenty five. That's weird. Yeah, that's I was like, crazy. I don't understand. I didn't even do, like, all I would do is just sit on the camera and just talk to people. I never. That had to be girls that actually knew the owner to get exactly. something like Some that Some girls done. enter the chats, mm -hmm. and if they feel like their tippers are going to you, that's oh, why girls my block. Gosh. If there's girls right now that are reporting girls' Twitters because if they lose theirs, they're, like, in a, in a rut, and they want people to be in a rut with them. So Ooh. they'll, Ew. of course, you know, I never thought right? of that. But God damn. That's, it's that so, petty. so gross. They should right. just start a new profile and be like, hey guys, I just got mine taken down. Can you share me? I've been like, sure. Like, go I for it. I didn't even think of that. Well, because wow. you also have a big following on social media. Yeah. My... Do you feel like that has like any like problems in the, in the ranch or? Um, not, not. Or is it like better you? Like, it. You get more opportunities because people see your face around a lot. It's it's helped. Like it definitely has helped. Um, but I do feel like I know that when people come in for like the lineups, I'll never like be like, oh, they <clears throat> they know me or anything. I'll just I'll just assume like it's just a person that doesn't know any of us, and we'll we'll do a lineup, and then they pick whoever they want from the lineup. So like, how so did you get such like, a uh, 
Rush Hour, the movie Rush Hour. Oh, yeah. It's like that? I, I guess so, if there's like a little lineup. I mean, I guess in other countries they do lineups too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh, that's um, awesome. Mm-hmm. That's what awesome. happens if they you like don't get, what if you don't get booked for like weeks straight? Like, does oh, that happen? It's a bummer. I've had that happen before. Really? Yeah, just like, you know, you got to pay room and board. And and if you don't get picked and, and, and you don't just book an appointment, you're like, oh, no, I don't have any money. But somebody always come in and you just got to stay mm. really positive and somebody you, will kind of bail you out are you there allowed you to discuss yeah. how much room and board is or is that um i i don't know because i didn't go i guess but, but it is i would say that's less than a hundred dollars do you do you, oh, do, yeah. you uh, do you set your that's own nice. do you yeah. set your own prices i to get do, a room yeah oh. I, I set my own uh i do set my own prices uh and i just know that i like longer experiences so i minimum is 30 minutes and then it can go all the way up to like a day or two or a week or it. I've never. Wow, a week. A wow, week? You, I've you've never, had weeks before. I've never had a week. Uh, anybody ever an had option. a week? I've had two day, two days before. I had two okay. days before. Have you ever seen someone have a week? Do they spend the yes. night? Yeah, they yeah they spend the night. Um, oh, I've wow. seen some girls get guys for to come for a week or um or they'll That's fly crazy. to Vegas together. Yeah. Can you leave when you want? Or are you? Yeah. yeah. We can leave it. So it's not like um, we're like locked down or anything. It's mm. like so I can go like to the grocery store or like, you know. Do okay. Well, I'm just saying you can't because I, I believe the girl we had from Sherry's, you know, once you're on for that month that you're on. Yeah. You really can't like br- you can't like just go over to Vegas for a weekend. Or oh, yeah. Wow. Some That's of, crazy. Some of them don't. You're, right. in, you're in contract. Mm-hmm. Some don't like it's like a job. People going in, in and out. It is a job. Get clocked yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is that how they do? They most people they gotta they gotta be there at least a month. Oh you, you yeah, say? you know you're right. So when they first start, the girls got to be there for about like two weeks to kind of get used to the place, and then they can decide whether they want to do tours or stay there for longer. Mm. Mm. You okay. don't have like a minimum time that you have to be there, or you do? Um, I think that for me, well, so we all have shifts. So like me, like I do like night, like I work the night shift. Uh, that's uh, four p.m. to like six a.m. And I try my hardest to stay up till six, but I, for some reason, my energy peaks at one a.m. What do, uh, <laughs> what do, uh, what, what do you find? What I mean, it, does it basically the the, like, freak, the freakier busy? the people as the night rolls on? Like uh, Rhino, I, oh, I feel like you go yeah. to Rhino at six in the morning, you got the oh. everybody's in crazy mode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you never the club know. anything. Right. Yeah. You never know what kind of fantasies anyone can have, and so I'm open to a lot of them, and I, I just like listening to them. I'm like, oh, this is this is cool, like. <laughs> So it's it's neat. Like, and do they give you so on these lineups? I remember the girl uh-huh. from the other place saying something like, "Like, so they're sitting at the bar, and you get like ten minutes to, you do. to talk to the person." You're right. It's like ten, fifteen minutes, and that's plenty of time like to at speed least dating. Y- yeah. yeah, and and if the, if something doesn't work out, then they are welcome to talk to somebody else. Like, there's been times where I've taken people to the back and you know the room and gone over and they're like yeah maybe i'll take a look around and they're totally welcome to do that and okay yeah so it's it, it's like about 15 minutes but anything longer than that it's like okay like what's happening here right like, yeah does somebody control that is that something like the house mom would control security they do kind of check in the room like in a sense like let's say it was like 20 you know 50, maybe 20 minutes was going by they call in the room and say hey what's going on you know it's time to come back out to the bar now and and then we'll go back out and then if if they didn't do anything with me then they could talk to another lady and it's Ooh. like my time's up pretty much like but my, if they did do anything with you they can't um if they they can still do something with another lady too and what do they require is there any type of testing they require from yes. you guys so std yeah. testing we get tested once a week okay. and um i just got tested two days ago everything's clean there yeah. everything's checked and i have my own health care and everything so i'm totally that's awesome yeah what about the people coming in there's no regulation on that the condoms and dental dam yeah, it just what, what is dental dam? It's like when you do oral. There's like a little dental dam. It was very 90s right. in the 90s. Is it kind of? I, remember I wish I had one to show you. You put it on your tongue. Yeah, yeah. I was like I wish I had a little dental dam to show you. But it's like yeah. a, a tongue condom. It mm-hmm. is like a tongue, and it kind of sometimes it's fruity flavored or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But so as a female, does that feel the same? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> but 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 <laughs> if it, 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 it so probably not. Well, actually, yeah. actually, I had a question there was um i don't know if it's latex or i would have to check but you know those tattoo things tattoo skins that they put on like your skin yes i always wondered if they could use that because that is like it doesn't fall off it sticks like 
that's I know exactly what you're talking and about. And you could see right through mm-hmm. like I wonder, but now that you just jogged my memory about that, so I'm gonna ask. <laughs> yeah. No, I forget what that paper's called, but every tattoo I get just like a sticker, it's just poop and yeah. it holds it and you're supposed to leave it on there. I think they and try like to say like Saram a wrap. God. It's not saran wrap, but it's it's more it's more like a <laughs> That's sticker. That's the ghetto yeah. ones, I guess. Yeah, yeah, well, like it looks like it's sticker. not even there. Yeah, well, right. you'll, you'll see that the ink gets all, like, melty. Mm-hmm. Looking yeah, I definitely there. don't have enough tattoos to know that. Right. I yeah. have one. Yeah. Yeah. I like the, It's like the fake skin. I'm like, Yeah, oh. no, I, I, I get that. Have you had, uh, was there any any scares? Ooh, scares. How's security? I mean, oh, good security. Security is security's good. Everything. Is they, that armed security there? Um, I, so... I'm not sure about like the armed part, but I do know that they do have like the like the office has their own protocols and they have security like Ooh. camera like they have security cameras like at the front and in like the back just to make sure that like safety for safety reasons. I think all you know brothels there's have those. brothels don't there's not a you can't do drugs in a brothel no, correct. I yeah. mean it's like a nightclub people might yeah. sneak in there and do it. Off in the bathroom, maybe, maybe not. If they snuck it in, then they probably like just were like hit it on their own accord. But but, but they would be like, no, like I usually say, are people get search going in are, there. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If they you, I mean, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah that are your right. rooms being recorded? Uh, rooms, no. Mm-mm. No. Okay, so how would they know if there was a so so? Oh, let's they have say a panic button, a panic button. Panic oh, button. So, yeah, okay. that's right. There Sorry, okay. I should have embellished okay. that. There yeah. is like let's say in the corner of a room, if there's somebody that's like acting strange, or they might be on drugs, or um, I mm-hmm. have had like to press the panic button a few times, but only because like someone mm. was drunk and fell asleep, and you don't really <laughs> oh, you, you can't, can't wake them up. up. Yeah, so Ooh. so oh. that has happened a few times, but they're you know their buddies or, or maybe the, the house kind of gets them out and they get them a ride home. With Does the that driver. help? Because you still get paid and they fell asleep. I I don't like it normally <laughs> when they're really drunk because like <laughs> I, I continue to like massage or you know do but right. but I don't want to feel like I was like oh like I. I was like, I hate like to, you're taking you advantage think of them. Of, yeah. You, for, so for girls, I mean, do, do they drug test girls? Oh, um, they. I don't think they do, but I think it, I. I don't know the, if they the, did in the past. Yeah, this Ooh. would be a, this would be a long shot. But say say you're in there with a guy. And he pulls out and does a bump of coke because he's not on camera. Oh, is it, I'd up, be is like, it up to the girl to be like, blow I, the whistle, like you can't do that? I guess it's like up to the girl, but I just know that like it's scary. Like I don't, I get nervous if there's Being people that. that I don't know mm. doing. Dr- yeah, like, you wouldn't want strangers. Yeah, doing that like if well, it, especially in that space too, because yeah. it's such a vulnerable space. Right. Yeah. That like you don't right. like know what the hell could happen because this person could go into rage or go into some type of psych, like whatever. You don't know, or you what don't, if they got a bad batch? Or something, and they freaking OD or something. Like, yeah, fuck, God forget, and God I don't want forbid. To and then now yeah. it's your fault. Exactly, because I'm the hooker. Hey, yeah. Hey, you knocked over. What the fuck? Oh, did I- Ice cube. Oh, my bad. Ice cube. Yay, yay. <laughs> hey, he's going on tour with Kid Cudi and oh, wow. uh, and what's the other band? I love Kid Cudi. Ooh. Um, the other band I just posted on. Uh, Oh, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, Ice Cube, Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's a fucking banger. Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just saw the lineup. Red Hot Chili Peppers are going to bring them out by the 100,000. Oh, yeah. Kid Cudi and Ice Cube, they're both dope, but Red Hot Chili Peppers is going to do the numbers. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's going to be a great concert. I hope that I can go to that one. I didn't even hear about that. That's a whole crowd. Yeah, Ice I'm Cube actually fans ex- and then Red Hot Chili Pepper fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hey. they're kind of the mixing, same fans, though. The, yeah. I don't know they're if kinda. you knew this, but you know where they play football at mm-hmm. UNLV off of Boulder? I don't know if that's still where they play. Yeah. But they did Red Hot Chili Peppers and Public Enemy. Yeah. Really? And I was that's like, what I'm I saying. I was like, that's fucking nuts. What? But it was, yeah. I didn't go, but I no. heard it was fucking insane. Oh, and the turnout was, was, the turnout was like. But that was sick. 60, 70,000 people. True. What was that guy's memoir? The, the, the one main. A guy. Um, he he wrote like a book. Yeah, his, his life name? was I just, just so. I, I remember intense. Flea, the Flea, guitar player, Flea, yeah. and um, Anth- Anthony was. It? I was Anth- about to say Alex. Was there someone in Red Hot Chili Peppers that passed away? Was there or no? I was like, why did I feel like I no that I heard no, no it, wasn't that. it was Lidus? Sublime that I heard, but I was yeah like, yeah that, oh yeah, did, yeah Sublime that one of them. Guys. Can you look that up? Yeah, that Can was you what look you that said up, David, yeah. the lead singer ago. of Red yeah. Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, he he was he wrote like some memoir and Anthony Keenly. Yeah, I know, who, I know who you're talking about, but... I love uh, Smashing Pumpkins, too. Like, Billy Ooh. Corey. Yeah. Hey, what was that song? <laughs> now, which maybe. One? Oh, wait. Did which I one? mean to treat you bad, but I did it anyways. Oh. That's what these groups in the day... That was Smashing Pumpkins. I love uh, the one by Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, this guy right here, Anthony Kiedis. Yeah. yeah. yeah I was right. I love the... When and they did passed the, away? 
No, he didn't pass oh. away. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> no, that's just the lead singer of uh, no. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Where he's has see the, the dark mustache. truth. He lived an extraordinary life. Um, and he had a book. I forgot his book's name. Yeah. Wow, that's. I feel like so many people in the spotlight like, Man, have like this dark truth. Like, so what is your uh, so so what so what's the end game? End game. Music I, and Bunny Ranch. Okay, so. This is my end, end game. Life period. But I, I told myself I need to not put so much pressure on my end game because I don't want to be one of those people that live for the end game. Mm. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm. What happens if you get to the end? Then, then everyone's gone, and sure, I might have everything I want, but I'm like, everyone's gone now, and I didn't enjoy my youth, and oh no, like I don't want that right. to happen. But I hope that maybe one, you know, future that I could have is, um, I would want to stay at the ranch for x amount of time would you want to be a madam uh no no i wouldn't want to be a madam <laughs> and, and, and only because i would love to i'd like to work at the ranch and get my holistic like uh tantric practitioner license mm. okay eventually i would love to if that was still funding Pract me and my endeavors sessions. Yeah, I keep doing music, and I would like to maybe get my acupuncture license and to, to do acupuncture myself if, God forbid, I'm hurting or my family or friends. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, cool, I got... Yeah, I've I, never I got done that. That's interesting to me. Yeah. Well, when I get my, you know, degree, I'll do it on you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, acupuncture is the little needles, I think. They, yeah, I did that one time in my ear. It was oh, really relaxing. It felt so good. It's and it, so good. Oh, and yeah. The, yeah. Then with the music, I would love to make this one album. It's called Rose Colored World. And that's coming out in 2025. And I'd love Look to... Look at that plan, 2025. It's coming. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then in my, like, twilight years, I would love to have, like... I don't know. I would love to have, like... An what do you consider twilight years? I I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You beat me to that. Uh-oh. I'm not sure, but I guess, like in my ending years or something. Like, <laughs> I was thinking Twilight, the movie, you're going to turn to a my vampire. vampire. Right, yeah, right, in my right. vampire years. I, right. <laughs> I'll be 500. Who, who, <laughs> yes. what, what's the oldest woman that's worked there at the Bunny Ranch? Um, I think that, oh, well, that's difficult to say because so before. What's the youngest? Can you get in there at what age? I... I think 18 is 18. the youngest that Ooh. you can get there. You just can't drink at the bar, obviously, but I think 18, you get hired. I, I'm not so sure on that, right? If it's 18 or 21 now, just because yep. Nevada gotcha. law, but yep. um, I just know with dancing, I was 21 when I started. Is it a lot of black girls at the ranch? There's a couple. Yeah. Okay. One of my friends, uh, Milan, um, and then there's Maddie. Um, and then there's a couple other girls too. They, they kind of come in and out. Ooh. Like everybody kind of circulates rooms it's like a dorm but mm. you like ch trade off rooms yeah. yeah i think that's what the other girl said too yeah. she said it's timing and kind of like i'm a little bit overly protect too overly protective of my room <laughs> are you are you there mm -hmm. are you there full time or do you take times off right now i'm there full time because mm. i really want to get this project like you know finished and um one part of the you know the end game is i would love to create like some sort of an event like a rose colored world for families where families could go in and this is like lights, there is music, but it's like a walkthrough. Oh. It's like almost like a garden. Like and an easy sensory experience yeah. where it's not too overly and stimulated. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like cheap. everything is like that nowadays where it's too much, where it's like lights in your face, this right. way, that way. And I'm like, right. oh, this is a lot, but it's cool. But I, that's really cool. I'm sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, you're good. You're <laughs> good. I was just like, that's board. cool. No, you're fine. I love that. Uh, yeah, just real smooth, like, lighting and, and just I want people to relax and, and have a cheap place to go to have fun and, and make memories. Mm -hmm. And that'd be really cool. Yeah, do you ever get anybody to, to – has anybody – like, I always say you run into a social media person, but mm -hmm. do you ever get somebody that, you know, you see on Instagram and all of a sudden they're in there and you're like – like, I've only had it happen twice in my life. One uh -huh. time I was at a pool party, mm -hmm. and I saw this dude, and it, of course it was a dude, not a pretty girl, but the dude mm -hmm. was like, I know you from Instagram. Oh. And I, was like, I was like, oh, that's weird. I've had there for more of that, true. I've had yeah. a couple of times. <laughs> it happened in, to me in San, not at the ranch, but it happened in San Diego a few times. Yep. Um, Because it's like hometown and, you know, where I'm from in mm -hmm. LA, I remember it happened at this breakfast you have a place. Big following, yeah, it, a lot of it came from Playboy. And then I will say mm. this: there was a guy, there was a weird marketer on my account for oh god, I'm trying to think of what year it was, but he was a liar. Like, like he literally was a liar. Like, like the Tinder swindler. So, so <laughs> how does it? Wow. So, 
allegedly yeah. he was referred to me by someone and they're like this guy is so great he grows your following oh. he, he's a great guy oh right. god he, 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 you just pay him I'm, yep we all, cyber ran in, we all ran into one of those before right. yeah they say you pay him 500 a month and he's got you and this and that and i was like okay hey right. i just started playing what well, i'm trying to grow and then all of a sudden i started seeing like i mean i had a decent following but then all of a sudden i started seeing this massive like 10,000, 20,000 overnight. And I was like, I'm not getting action on here. And then finally, I was like, you know what? It's been four weeks. I'm going to just question the guy. I was like, look, because he started asking for more money. He was like, I actually need more. I need like a thousand this time. And I'm like, he's like, see, I'm growing your profile. I'm, I'm doing a good job, right? You know, and he was buying all these like spam accounts. Yeah. And so I was yeah. like noticing my engagement dropping. And I was like, what the fucking? And so then I looked and then had somebody look at it and they're like, dude, he's buying spam accounts to keep his job. And he's like asking you for more. And then so finally I called him out on it. I thank God I took him off of my Facebook because he tried to steal it. He tried to oh, steal yeah, my Instagram. What? Say, that's the next thing that happens. Oh my if they got gosh. controls of your things. They yep. can just say, oh, yeah. they yep. gotta change that password quick. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So when people, they're just like, oh, like what happened? I'm like, dude, that guy, like, I mean, from the outside looking in, like somebody that wouldn't know would be like, "Oh, cool! I'm grinding, gaining ten thousand a day." But well, this but is, if it has no value it, and it does nothing, what, then what the fuck? This fuck's is what the I'm going to say to all the ladies yeah. out there. Yeah, it's always a fucking man. How is a man going to tell you how to fucking grow your profile? Like, uh, as a female, you know how to grow your profile. So why are you going to fucking pay a man to do it? No, like, unless me? they have, like, social media expertise well, or I whatever. Mean, if I think he was, uh, like, front but just so But, like, good. look, if they're from Sounds another country like and this yeah. is a hustle, think about it. He tricked I mean, if me. It, it, yeah. I mean, if making $500 a month off one person, imagine they get, like, 10 people. They're doing that, too. And, oh, yeah. and just, that's just 10 at the minimum. And you know what's funny? At 500 500 let's was only that, his Rachel. retainer. So right, he, let's do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, he wanted more. He was like, 500 yeah. my retainer. I need 500 for advertising. And then he would, like, oh my gosh, he would put like $20 in He was trying to see how much he can get. He was like, okay, let's see if I can try to get a little bit more. Yep. Oh, she's done. Let me, oh, but see, I have a visual. It's here. See, look, yeah. I'm doing the work for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Anybody so can out. do that. I've had people do that to my page before. They're like, look, I can grow your following. I'm like, stop doing that. Like, I'm literally like, I'm not asking for this. And you're literally giving my page fake followers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's social media. Well, Basically, almost everyone has got fake followers. Well, listen, followers. we are, we are at our time. Yeah. So I'm just going to say well, thank you great. Oh, for thank coming you. on the show. You're very beautiful. Thank you. You're, she's Absolutely. more beautiful in person oh, than in a picture. I know, and her energy, too. Yeah, so your it energy makes it... is great. Where, where, can, uh, where can people find you at? So on Instagram, Guns and Roses. And then on Twitter, Guns and Roses X. <laughs> on, okay, so hang on, say that again. You said on Instagram, Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. And then so you're on Instagram and Twitter. And Twitter, yeah. No, guns. no Facebook. Uh, I have Facebook. Uh, Lauren Roses Music. What about okay. it? You said you mentioned OnlyFans. Uh, I don't have that one yet, but it okay. would probably be Guns and Roses X if I did. Got it. Got it. Yeah. How about you, Little Rach? Well, you know, you could just find me on the interwebs at uh, Low Rach, L I L R A Y C H. Yeah. Okay. Apologize to Ice Cube for knocking Dude, him over. I'm sorry, Ice Cube. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Okay. didn't mean to. How about you, Mr. Carlos? Where that? Where can they find you at? Official Carlos Hayes. That's Official Carlos Hayes. All you need to do. Right okay, there. my account got hacked. I do have a personal one. That's T R U dot E one one E V E N. Uh, but I am on Green Room's page. That's my sole page. I'm I'm uh, past the age of handling two, uh, so I'm usually just on Green Room. How about how about you, Mr. Green Room David? Radio? Uh, you yeah, can Green find Room. On Instagram. <laughs> Verify Dave. Verify Dave. I'm so Instagram. glad that everybody's verified now because AI. Oh my gosh. I believe it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys. Net. Right. We we'll Thank see you guys so much. on. on. I'll see all you guys on the 4th where we have Lana. She's mm -hmm. a comedian. And I just want to say shout out to our official sponsor. It, it begins in January, but uh, shout out to Rose Palms. For, Rose Palms. Let's get it. I use some of those. They're pretty good. 2024 yeah. is coming in strong. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Woo. Peace out, Joe. See ya.